so easy to get them when it, when it's cold. Look at that. I'm looking at this crab right here. Look at him. He's barely he can barely move because it's so cold. Look at him. I can literally pet him. That is what I'm talking about, guys. When it's cold, these guys can barely move, and they're so easy to pick up. All right, guys. Look at that. This is what I'm talking about. They're barely moving. Look at that. See? They try to blend in. Um, here's another one. Wow, there's a lot of them. I think this is like a handful. Look at that. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. That sheep's had bait right there all day. Hey, what's going on, guys? Donnie here. Welcome back to yet another video. Today, we're going to be targeting sheep's head. We're going to be catching sheep's head and cook them up for you guys. Hopefully, we get lucky today. We're just out here looking for mangrove crabs. Uh, we got like a couple dozen of mangrove crabs, sand crabs, and rock crabs mixed in. We're gonna be heading down south to Anna Maria Island to look for these convicts. Hopefully we get lucky, man. Stay tuned. We just got down to Anna Maria Island and man, it got super hot, so I had to change clothes. I mean, shorts now and Crocs. Gotta have Crocs. All right, guys, we just got to one of the piers. There's three of them. There's this one in the center right here. There's one over there and one over that way. We're gonna fish this one here because when I, f when I first came down here, and check this one out. I saw a couple of a couple of nice sized sheep's head just circling this uh, this pier here, or just circling the the pilings. So we're gonna head down there and hopefully get on them. He's right down here, guys. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm so dumb with circle, guys. I knew it. I don't know why. I didn't just switch to that short shank J hook, man. I should have done that in the beginning. Those are the hooks right there for sheep's head. If you want to catch sheep's head, these are the hooks, man. Right there. Look at all the crabs we got, man. Should be, should be way more than enough to catch dinner today. I'm just hooking it through its, uh, through the bottom just like that like at the end of it so the hook's more exposed and just let it drift in front of a sheepy oh that's a big one that's a big one down there that's a big one down there guys big big sheepy Yes, baby. Finally got him to bite. One in the bucket. Ah, he's a keeper. He's 12, definitely. Heck yeah, baby, right on the lip. I'm telling you, man, that's the hook right there for sheep's head if you wanna get you some sheep's head. He's nice and cold. This is the hook right here. Mustache, short shank, size one hook. Free line of crab down there, right next to the piling. You're guaranteed to get one. Well, I take that back, not guaranteed, but you're most likely gonna catch one. <laughs> Look at him, man. He's gonna be dinner or lunch, perhaps. All right, let's get some more. Let's throw them in the box and get on some more. Oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> my camera person. Uh, went to the truck to go get the cooler and I couldn't resist. I had to drop another crab down there because I know they're chewing right now, but Here's another one Not too big, but not too small either Keepers at least that's good eating size right there Two in the box All right I think it's on top of it so they don't flop around and jump in the water. All right, here we go. We're gonna throw another crab down, guys. Oh, 
There's two right here, there's two right here. Here we go. Oh, that's a good one, baby. Yes! <laughs> that was on a half a crab. Look, listen, that crab was like eaten and there was like half a piece left and he took it. Heck yeah, baby. Not too big, but it's a good size, good eating size. All right, let's throw them in the box and let's see if we can't limit out today. If not, I won't complain. <laughs> Three is plenty. I don't know how I'm gonna get this fish out of here, guys. He's on it already. Oh, he's on it. He's, he's got it. 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 Oh. All right, guys, we got three so far in the box. It's like noon right now and the sun's like beaming. It was so cold this morning. This morning was like 47 degrees, 48 degrees. And now it's probably, I don't know, probably 60, 65. It sounds nice, but there's barely any breeze. So it's like scorching hot. Anyway, we're catching fish at least. We're going to throw on another crab and hopefully get on some more. It's a good crab right there. Good bait, man. Perfect size bait for sheep's head. That's why I like to hook it. All right, let's drop them down. Here goes my freaking guides and all. <laughs> Hey, he's a keeper at least. <laughs> this is too easy, guys. Too easy. <sighs> he's 12. He's gotta be 12. We'll let him go. We'll let this guy go. I wanna get my hook back, though. Alright. We're gonna release this guy on this side. See ya, dude. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a big one. Yeah, he's decent. He's probably 13, 12, 13. Look at that. All right, storm in the box. The sheep said just stopped biting, man. I don't know what happened. The bite just turned off completely. I was seeing them and I'd pitch them the crab, but they, they just won't bite it. They, they won't even turn their head on it. All right, guys, we just got to the pier. We're just gonna clean up the fish. Should take us about five to 10 minutes to clean all this up, hopefully. <laughs> One down and three to go. Same thing, just running that knife along the bones. I usually don't cut through the rib cages because it's so tough to, to bust through with this fillet knife. You need like a boning knife to bust through that rib cage. It's so tough. You'll dull this, uh, this fillet knife if you try to bust through that rib cage. So I just cut around it like that. Look at that. That's like a, a few pounds of sheep's head filet right there. We're gonna season them and make fish salad out of them. I can't wait to try this right here. That right there, man. That's the good stuff there. Fish has already been cleaned. We're just gonna season it. Actually, I wanna get all the moisture out of it first. 
you want all the moisture out of it. Just so the season the seasoning sticks on there better. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. Cannot wait to try this, man. It's gonna look good. It's gonna taste good. That should be that should be plenty. Alright. We're just gonna we're not gonna do too much on the on, on seasoning. We're just gonna sprinkle it with Everglaze seasoning like that. Rub it in like so. Flip it over. Oh yeah, the wind's working alongside me. See that? Got seasonings all over the bench. It's all good though. Looks good right there. It's all you really need. Maybe some parsley. Oh God, look at that wind taking the parsley everywhere. That looks good there. Should be plenty of olive oil right there. And we just, just gotta wait for it to heat up. All right, it looks hot enough. Here we go. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, I can only fit one filet in there, really. Oh, it smells good. Had to turn down the propane a little bit. Don't want it to burn. <laughs> Sounding good, guys. I'm pumped, man. Psyched, super psyched. Can't wait to try this. Oh yeah. It's gonna be good, man. No, you don't want to flip it yet. Let it cook a little bit longer. Oh yeah. Might need some more oil. Wish I had butter, but oil will do. Alright, looks like it's cooked. You don't want to overcook it. I like it right, like, about 5 to 10 minutes on each side. That looks good right there. I don't know about you guys, but I like to clear that pan a little bit so it can get a nice sear you know what I'm talking about watch this because all that stuff there is actually covering the, uh, the skillet I like to clear it off so the filet can get, get a nice sear See that? Look at that. Pan seared, baby. That looks good. Man, cannot wait. I cannot wait to try this. Mmm, that sound though. I know you guys can hear it crisp and clear. I'm amped. 
<laughs> we can try it, man. Last fillet. That's perfect. You guys, you've got to try this, man. Highly recommend it. It's gonna taste really good with that salad. That should be good there. Oh. I don't need that. A little bit of fruits. Thank you. <laughs> All right, here we go. The fish. Fresh caught sheep's head. It was alive an hour ago. <laughs> Man, you know what we're missing? Some lemon. Totally forgot about that. It's all right though. This right here, you gotta try it out, man. That right there is where it's at. It's really good. Oh yeah. Let's try it out. Let's get a piece of fish and some fruits and vegetables. Oh man. <laughs> wow. That raspberry vinaigrette though. It's so good. Mmm. It's sweet. Look at that. Wow, that is really good, man. You've got to try this out. Highly recommend it. I hope you guys like this catch and cook series. I need to do more of it, man. It's been it's been a while since I've done a catch and cook video. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification for future content. And I'll see you guys next week.